I'm Jordan, I'm 19 and I'm an apprentice at ABP. ABP owns around 52 ports throughout the UK and Southampton's the biggest one for cruise liners. I went to school at Bitten Park Secondary and I was always quite interested in uh, finding out how things work in science so engineering appealed to me. I applied for quite a few different places uh, but this was a company that stand out to me as being able to give me the training I wanted. This crane is generally used for stockpiling um, bulk materials uh, such as fertiliser, um, gypsum, bird seed, or for wood chip. It was probably the first week I started, just one of the um, older chaps just handed me the remote and goes, have a go, it's just like a PlayStation. <laughs> it's quite easy to control, but you got to remember that there's a lot of money's worth of equipment there. I found the electrical experience I've gained has helped me with working on the cranes because the cranes are combined systems which use hydraulic, electric and mechanical so it's quite good to have experience with all those different things because they all interrelate. There's routine maintenance which is pretty simple stuff and it just comes and goes. There's breakdowns um, when uh, things aren't working and they need to be put back in service. And there's also other things like improvements um, and putting new systems in place. I could be doing a service on the grab um, so uh, lubricate it and make sure there's check for cracks maybe change some of the bearings and then run it up and down to make sure it's all functioning properly I've turned more into an electrical fitter um, as well as having some extra little skills like welding I suppose the most exciting bit is if there's a breakdown like where it's quite urgent because you've got to quickly figure out what's going on what the problem is and how you can fix that there's a college CETA um, up at Millbrook and they've uh, done the BTEC and NVQ course with me. At the start of the apprenticeship I did six months with CETA doing practical work and then after that I did a day release for the BTEC course and the NVQ work they check up on me and soon they'll be um, coming in to watch me doing work. So there's lots of different vacancies um, that are opening up, a lot of um, in-house training as well um, and uh, for apprentices our managers are very happy to get help us get the best training and whatever we want. Uh, when I was at school I looked into um, careers advisor and talked to her about the different options that were out there. For me college seemed like I wouldn't be able to get as much practical um, experience in being on the job um, and you also don't get paid at the same time. A few of my friends back at school thought um, the apprenticeship would be a good idea and they've decided to do them themselves. Um, uh, quite a few of them went to college instead and didn't really think about it, but I'd say I've gone for the right option.